So it's been mixed for voltage. 100. A couple of years break to get the hunger back to get himself back in the mix in the Premier League. He's so solid on throw so far, Rob. Again. Yeah, the last year he was saying that he wasn't bothered about it. He, he, he just wasn't bothered about the Premier League. He didn't think it was worth playing in it. But he's singing a different tune this year. And he might have been just, you know, whistling to keep his spirits up because he wasn't in it. I'm not sure he was close to being in it, wasn't he? Because it was that Masters final against Doby. 69. Yeah, had he beat Chris Doby, he'd have, he'd have surely taken the last spot. But he didn't do any, any harm, he bounced back. Wins on the Pro Tour, the Euro Tour, and a couple of World Series wins last, last year. Robbie require 18. Can he follow Doby by winning the opening night of the Premier League, which Chris did in Belfast last year, you'll recall. Now, double four for Voltage. Double two. His opponent not on a finish, 14. but Rob Cross has not finished. For Peter Wright, he's got to tee this up. Rob won't relish coming back for double two here. Now, is this the shoddy leg on throw that I alluded to, Mark? Can Peter Wright produce something here? Leaving 159 didn't help, but he has left double Robbie 16, McCoy and Cross has got three darts in hand, and he's poking around on double two. Well, that's the question, hasn't he? And is this the opportunity? Can't afford to drop low. And the crowd of stands get involved now. Ah, that composure from Rob Cross, and he enjoyed that. Gets over the line in the end. And here's a fifth consecutive holder throw. Rob Cross is halfway to the semi final of night one. A couple of 70 odds on the menu here, right with first chance to have a pot shot at it. Found the treble. Hasn't found the double at the end of it, almost salvaged the visit, and now he's vulnerable. Cross could go too clear here with a break. This is a big visit, Mark. With a with a break, and he's got the advance of throwing first as well. This will put him in a real commanding position. There's only going to be one. He can't convert. Still get awkward for Peter Wright. Data piece at double missed at the back end of the sixth. Peter Wright, double five. Last start in hand. Can he salvage it like Cross did on double one? Last start in hand, he cannot. And Rob Cross now, the 18th segment. The segment he dreams of. He loves it. But no, he can't find it, double nine. He's only now what to do. He's thinking about a split there, wasn't he? And, well, throws the last start away in frustration. It's got a bit messy, this leg. Key for Peter Wright, he converts here. Does convert, levels up for a third time. It's not a so a lot stacked against him here, but he's in the fight. Cross needs at least two troubles to leave the finish. Really needs a maxi here to leave something more manageable. 98. Can't find it. And Peter Wright here in charge of the eighth leg, looking to level for a fourth time. If he doesn't. The setup's got to be good here. Good second dart. Cross obviously capable 99. of getting the 109. So key exchange incoming. Peter Wright. Next best thing, if you don't take it out, leave it handy. Don't start scrambling about. Treble 19. Oh, he gets it. This is huge. He's had an opportunity to break already in the match, Rob. Double 16. He found it like before. He yeah, finds it again at the back end of a three figure Rob combination. Cross. A 109 out from Rob Cross. And that could well make the difference. It's already made a big difference. He's two up now, Game Rob on. Cross, at 5 3. There are only three legs left to play. And Peter Wright needs all three of them here. And two of them are on the Rob Cross throw. Disastrous last start for Peter Wright because it's guaranteed that Cross has got six starts to get rid of this 1 5 6. If he needs him, it may just be all done on this visit for an opening night win for Rob Cross. Oh, Match that, come and gone, but he'll be back on a double he's very comfortable on. Well, uh, the back end of the combo, the double that he loves the most, was there for him, but he couldn't find it. Now, Peter, we well, needed the second treble. And Rob Cross now, of all the things you don't 99. want to do, is three clean darts being afforded to Rob Cross on double 18. But that's what Peter Wright has done, and now he's got to just hope that Cross misses.
Wow. He was on a win and a prayer, Peter, Peter Wright, Ryan but his 70. prayers are answered. Now he's got to check out the 70 to get a leg back. Keep the show on the road. Didn't expect that. To break back and stay in the match for Peter Wright. Um, marginally misses, so Rob has already had four Rob for the match. Wyatt, he's got three in hand if needed. Well, Peter Wright had hope, but in the end it's the hope that kills you. And Get Rob Cross, out. in the end, voltage, too Rob much power Cross. for Peter Wright. And Rob Cross on his return to the Premier League is off to a winning start. Aspen gets a first look. And it's only a fleeting look at the finish. 90, going to require 160. He's looking for the top wire of the 60 to make it a little bit easier. 140. He's left it double-handy, but will 80. he get a poke from Nathan, who's tried to ingratiate himself by adding a bit of green to that red and black shirt? Doesn't appear to have worked. <laughs> oh, he's lucky there, and he knows it. He nearly busts his score. But he does get one dart at tops. Oh, yeah, it's a beaut. Gerwin Price Arsenal. broken in the opening leg in front of, well, his home crowd in this tournament. 58. He's still not firing on all cylinders here. One hundred. Decent time working his way down into that trouble 20. He'll get a chance. It might not be a great one. 95. Go Only 95 after that 57. Be disappointed. May not get a chance at the 1 1 2. Bullseye! Yeah, oh, yeah. The well, the last two legs have been phenomenal from Gellowin Price. Four weekly wins last year. Can do what he wants here. That was a safe tops. 59. You know, always the danger of throwing it out the board and wasting a dart. Yeah. If if Nathan had been on a finish, he'd have really committed one to it. You might have seen him miss high. But the setup Get worked perfectly. And Garen Price, the formula he has for this game, which is so very effective, is working for him right now. Uh, he get it this time, start the next leg. Oh, come on, you let me down proper there. You let yourself down, Gezi, come on. Well, a 164 for Gezi could have put him in a very healthy position. This one for Aspinall, just to save himself, and it's not happening. And he's relying on Gerwin Price missing, and he's not been doing a great deal of that since the opening couple of legs. The 5 3. Gerwin Look where he's hit it as well. The inside of the top wire, it's just thrown perfectly. More or less where he's aiming. Nine darts thrown. You've got to take the 1 2 1 to stay in the match. That's what the Premier League's all about. Longer you wait, the worse it gets. 51 for Bullseye. It's not going to happen. Is Price going to wrap this up to book a spot in the semis against Rob Cross? Double 18. The switch to double nine is no good. Three match darts missed. Yeah, the first dart, double 18, wasn't really close enough for him to act like a marker. Drama that we didn't expect, and he turns away in disgust. Get him, Price. He will be utterly gutted. There's that bouncing and boinging that I was on about from Nathan Aspinall. He's just boinged his way back into this contest. Yes. Gets the treble, now he's single and double. To take us all the way. It's a big in this, but it's a good one. Too big for the Iceman. Just caught. The previous flight took the momentum out of the dark. Couldn't penetrate. 
for a level game. And you've got to credit Nathan Aspinall if he gets this. Because he finds ways of winning matches. Got to get this. He's gutted. That bouncer, is it going to hurt Price? Well, it's not going to stop him getting a match start by the looks of it. He will get one at tops. He's missed three for the match already. He does not miss again. And Gerwin Price is up and running in Wales. His Premier League campaign is off and running. He overcomes the ASP, 100 average, in front of his home crowd. And he is through to the semi-finals. Gerwin pulled out of the final the week before the finals night in the O2 with that injured shoulder. There were all the doubts about him, and Smith went off favourite for the match, and Van Gerwen won. But it was close, I think 10-8, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it, it was a good game. I think it was one of them where Michael Smith disappointed to lose, but one will have left the O2 two. last year knowing he played one, OK, and we just fell slightly short on the night. Chasing doubles in the opening leg, gets the double five. And an opening leg for Michael Smith against the dad, so an early break against Van Gerwen here. Goes Van Gerwen's way. 56, Michael Gerwen, An immediate break back, might be the ball coming into play here. Ah, double 13. Van Gerwen has upped his maxi output since the start of the World Championship, running at a much higher rate than his normal rates. Smith here looking at single for the double above. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely finish. Beautifully crafted and created by the bully boy and beautifully completed too. The 120 out for Michael Smith doubles his advantage. 2-0. Michael Gerwin from 39. Decent setup and it asks the question of Michael Smith. And the 145 doesn't go into it. We started with a couple of legs for Michael Smith. Is Van Duren going to return the favour and level up the match here? Still one dart away from a level game and still one dart away. And it is a level game. He rallies from two down to two each. Michael Van Gerwen squares it off to all and has the darts in the fifth leg. Level in there, Van Gerwen, but it won't worry Smith too much. Nagel for ball, Nagel for treble 18, goes Save for the ball, halves his score. We've seen the danger of hitting the bullseye, not the outer ball on 65 though, Mark, ball. haven't we? Ball 65. Yeah, he didn't get the double four, did he? And resulted in Van Gogh winning a leg, same thing's happened again. Oh, what a mess from Michael Smith. And it, even if he does return, it's going to be really awkward. Well, that's not the approved route of 65. Van Gerwen misses double 16. Michael Smith, the accidental bullseye, and then the accidental treble three. Now, one double one. Oh, blimey, that was almost a bust score. Now, can he see it? He can see it and he can hit it. Well, Michael Smith, really, those last two visits were a mishmash of mediocrity, but they finished with a double one and he's won the leg. Well, the miss acted as a, as a guide in the end, didn't it? A good one mark on the double four, one. Anyway. I'm sure that was his intentions, but there we see Michael Smith deflecting off that first arc that went out the board and again has a bit of daylight in this match. 41. Huge moments coming up in this quarter final. Wow. Choices here. Will he start on the bullseye? The outer ball would leave two darts at tops. Goes for treble 19 now. Hunting treble 18. Couldn't find any of the big troubles. One for double eight, surely. And are we going level again? And once again, Michael Van Gerwen has rallied from being two legs behind. Went 2 0 down, 4 2 down. And it's now back on throw, and Michael Van Gerwen will be a favourite for the match. Developed into a stumble here for Michael Van Gerwen in this 11th and closing leg. Smith's running it now, he's in it now! Finally finds a big visit. But and incredibly, it. he's going to get first go and a finish here, which was out of the question really after a visit each in this leg. Nine darts, not a big treble for Michael. Van Gerwen, that is. Can't find one here. He's gifting this match to Michael Smith. Oh, 
Oh, can he? He can't now, but two troubles would have left double 19. And in ordinary circumstances, you'd expect Van Gerwen to get at least a shot at the bullseye here. But there's a not ordinary circumstances by any manner of means. Well, he's had a shocker in this last leg, Michael Van Gerwen. After a 140, he's hit nothing. And Smith, to get the victory in a deciding leg, he hung on in there. No real celebration for Michael Smith. Van Gerwen unraveled in that decider. 137. Trouble 19. Would have given the option of two tops. 57. We're going to go on 118s here for Luke Humphreys. Perfect first start. Leaves double 16. We yeah, have a level game. Second, uh, yeah, missed two at 32 in the first leg off the 51 combination. But the Beautiful setup. Oh, but nine for double eight for Luke Humphreys for a level game at two all. Nice. A couple of times now. I don't think he's liking the imbecilic whistle as he was going for the double eight. Okay. Did this in the World Championships. Loves double ten so much that he decided to not go for double eighteen, to go single sixteen for double ten. It's not an MO that you really see in high-end darts, but he does it. People come along and they do things and they change things. Who's used to seeing people do the same as what other people do? He doesn't, he does what he likes. And I actually like that, the freedom in his mind. It doesn't conform he wants to uh, leave double one. ten we saw Dimitri Vandenberg years ago go eight double sixteen because he ate it tops yeah. and that yeah. is an 11 yeah. dart leg yeah. and he's not oh, scarred this is all just a big fun adventure for him. 55 left that leaves tops yeah. he yeah. is still gonna get more chances to come back and make it 5-2 Luke Humphreys, right then, quite rightly said, had chances early on, but the last few legs, he's been left wanting in some of them. And he's 5-2 down now, Luke Humphreys, the world champion, world number one. Could have been better, because Littler can set this up to some tune. And he has done. 72. 24 off. He was looking at the 16 segment there. He's missed it by a way, but it's okay. Nod of the head from Luke Little. He thought he was going in, and Luke Humphries turns around. Another whistle has put him off. Yeah. Someone's had a fiver on Luke Little. Tops for a 6 2. And of course it goes in, and of course it goes in the centre. The kid that can do no wrong wins again. In finals night of that, isn't it? Actually, it's a bit tricky. You play a game in the afternoon as well, so he'll be well equipped for what's coming tonight and what's Thank coming you. for the remaining 15 weeks, Rob. Well, he's a two time European champion, that's the same stuff, including the game in the afternoon, like you said. Beat Gerwin Price in the final one of these European championships as well. 100, nice first finish to win leg one on his throw as well. Gets the treble 19 up for tops for a hold, and yeah. it is a hold of throw. No reaction from Gedwin Price. Rob, 85. Turns the 11 dart leg here. Price missed darts for a 10 in the previous. Good first dart. Routine we see often from Rob Cross, just a little pause, a wipe of the hand. Awkward double seven. An opportunity for Price to find the first break of the match. Single six, leaves double top. 66. No bark of frustration from Gerwin Price. And he split here. Just staring down that double four. He's got to block this noise out in the crowd. Stay in focus, Rob. But misses the target in there. They're not happy. Price now for a two-leg lead. 
couldn't get much closer. In fact, he's getting further away. Golden opportunity offered to go in Price, unable to seize it. And it was missed double as haunting him again. And Cross gets the leg eventually and levels up the match. Two legs apiece, four holds. Even if Price doesn't take the 1 3 4, you could be. Even an awkward two dart away. You may only get the one dart a double, so it's an important last dart from Cross. To keep the trend of holds a throw going here. Doesn't like it. Shuffles a little bit right. Oh, it's getting harder. Well, he's going to come in from the other way. This is tricky. In fact, it's so tricky, he's reconsidering. And all the while, the crowd are getting involved. It's be so dark. And it was always going to be tricky. Price with an opportunity to break again now. Double 12 for the break. And a two-leg lead. Gerwin Price opens up a little bit of breathing space. That was the first start of double 16 that sort of kicked in and called Cause Cross all the problems. Breathing space for Price, and he's got the darts as well. Is it two tops? It was the attempt. If you're going to miss that, I was, <laughs> I was just saying, if you're going to miss tops, miss it inside, then he always busts the score. You see the reaction. But there's the setup. And it's a big ask for Rob, and it's not going to go. Price could be going one away from the final here for the second consecutive year in Cardiff. A matter of millimetres away from scoring 1-3-4 and Everybody busting his score. Team. It could have been a game-changer. But Darren Price continues to march towards the final here in Cardiff. Three legs on the spin. Good last one from Rob. Price should be on something good here. It's excellent. Another 180 for Price. Leaves himself two darts away from victory, potentially. But Cross can stop him. Needed to be perfect. Couldn't produce the 170. And Gerwin Price has a chance to reach the final once again in Cardiff. It needs to be a dart, the ball. The ball to finish in style. And Price does finish in style for the second consecutive year. He's into the final. A victory over Nathan Aspel in the quarter-final. And a comprehensive victory against Rob Cross. Second on the league ladder. He won three on the bounce, he didn't did. he? Late on in the piece. He was on song going into finals night against a wounded Van Gogh. But lost... Van Gerwen went on to win the title, but Van Gerwen has drawn a blank on opening night in losing to the bully boy. Tops the Littler. No problem, no bother. The switching is just so smooth. It doesn't change. The rhythm just stays the same. To be the man to stop Luke Littler will be another one. Can he stop him? He's got the lead 3-2. But we saw Littler come back from 4-2 down against Humphreys in Den Bosch. Can't land the big fish. He had offensive that after the first oh, dart. And he loves to do the reeling in celebration, doesn't he? I like it. I thought you would. The 4 2, double 12. Surely! Yeah. What a bit of class there. That is how you break through. Little leaves 170, can't take it out, and that is a 12 dart leg. This is an exquisite Michael Smith display. Yeah. Let's have that right. Well, it's got better and better. Yes. He may be wearing a snazzy new shirt, but he's throwing like the old Michael Smith. That leaves the bull. That is the bull. Bingo on the bullseye to haul himself back into the match. Closing to within a solitary leg now. They'd rather deal with the PDC security staff than deal with an angry Wayne Mardell. Let yeah. me reassure you of that. What a great leg from Michael Smith. 
Now you've got to think about it. Bullseye is the shot. Did the right thing, took his time, worked it out. For a 5-4 lead. Tops. I like the way they've both gone about their business here. Littler has had 10 tonight. Got a switch. Went looking for the treble seven, I think, indeed. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you want to leave tops at every outing knowing that you're so good at double 10? Well, this should be level. Tops. The single again to leave the double 10. Wow. Well, there's half a chance here for the match. It's almost crept up on us here. Michael Smith looking at 130. Will the bully boy finish on the ball? No. Well, the computer malfunctioned and it a 10. Is it going to... In the deciding leg, and what a leg. Oh, wow. It's OK. Saying it's OK, he may not get another shot, it might not be OK. That's 87, 51 for 36. Double 15. 79. Next door to the one he loves so much, double 10, that's why he went that way. Now, Michael Smith has earned himself a couple of darts. Michael Smith stops the juggernaut, stops the Luke Littler train. The new kind of dart to win it couldn't take it, and Michael Smith is the man to stop Luke Littler in Cardiff, the former world champion. Michael Smith, in this kind of form, he may not be allowed those sort of luxuries. 53, Even if Price doesn't get rid of this 146, this could still get a bit tricky for Michael. He used to lose his leg, Dan. He's going to be a bit disgruntled that he started every leg with a max and would find himself 2-1 down. Smith with the opportunity to get the first break of the final. Tops. And he gets the first break in this final. On the balance of play, you'd say it's just about a fair scoreline in favour of Michael. He's going to kick off this year's campaign. Right now, Michael Smith is looking more likely. 100. Yeah, Michael Smith averaging around about 93 and a half, but it's enough at the minute, and he's going on the hunt for a double break here. He could be as, as good as the match Michael if he finds that double break, Michael. Took this out against Van Gerwen earlier on. Takes it out again. There was a little pause on the last start, but composed with Michael Smith. That's a 4 1 lead. That's a double break. And he's two legs away from opening up his Premier League campaign with a win. In the zone, Michael Smith. 134. 123. And that was evidence of it again. Away with that into the treble one, but he just eyes on the prize. And gets a chance to go one leg away. Michael, you've acquired 107. One treble finish. Not that trouble, but he can still do it. Oh, look at this, double 16 for a 107. Made a mistake, made up for it with two perfect darts, and Michael Smith is running away with this final. Won the opening leg and 18 darts, it's pretty modest. It's not like Michael Smith had just blown him away, he's just been better. He's won the last five legs. going to be pressure 95. not as much Gerwin as he would have liked 100. but Gerwin Price nothing's easy when you're 5-1 down double 10 you have to stay in and he gets the double 10 to hold a throw he needs to start attacking the Michael Smith but he can grab the break here and there again and fills it up again. It is five maximums for Michael Smith. Gerwin Price has not hit a single one in this final. He has been outgunned and outplayed. 140. A smile of resignation there from Gerwin Price. A lot of positives to take if he does go on and lose this match, which is looking likely. But for Smith, he's been excellent. 
He's shown a bit of everything about his game tonight. The power scoring here. The digging in deep in last leg decided is against Van Gogh and Littler. And he could finish off here. Cup off a perfect night in Cardiff. And his finishing's been brilliant. He has not finished it off just yet. But that's two match darts missed. He is going to get more and potentially loads more. Gerwin Price knows his race is run. 71. This is Michael Smith's moment. Night one. And he is night one, Victor. And no reaction from Michael Smith, but a great performance in the final. You had to dig deep.